we're here at actually before CES starts. This, this is CES unveiled. I thought you might want to see what I think is one of the most exciting pieces of technology to start the show. And that is something special for cable cutters. You know those cord folk, the people who want to get rid of Comcast. They want to make sure they're not paying a monthly fee. They want to make sure they can get all their digital entertainment. Well, a while back, I got a press release for this. It's a Mohu antenna, and uh, I'm speaking with John Cable, who's going to explain why this might be the missing ingredient from your, your cord cutting lifestyle. John, what is this? This is Mohu Airwave. This is the world's first wireless antenna, the world's first combination OTA and OTT device, and we think is what the most beautiful antenna ever made. So what you've allowed me to do is you've now given me a device that out of the box can receive over the air, OTA transmissions in HD, which most of us are getting. If you're living in a major city, you've got them. Absolutely. And watch them on a network connected device. That's right. What do you have to do to make that happen? Okay, so we've actually built a app for Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, your phone, your tablet, everywhere you need TV, we have an app. This works by connecting to your Wi-Fi and connects to that app and you get OTA just like you would get a streaming service on your streaming box. So now we've kind of taken away the different inputs and now we've combined everything into one ecosystem. Okay, but before we go any further, this sounds an awful lot like a business that we all heard about years ago, made a huge splash called Aereo. They, they bought a building in New York, they set up arrays of antennas and then they sold over the air broadcasting to, to people who wanted, well, what was happening in New York. The whole idea was, look, we're just renting you space. Great idea, I tried it once, it worked really well, but they got sued out of existence. So why aren't the broadcasters gonna come after Mohu for essentially doing the same thing? So I don't think it is the same thing. What we're doing is taking the broadcast that comes into your home and doing a private performance within your Wi-Fi network. It never leaves your home. It's completely safe and legal. Got it. So the, the whole idea is, look, we're not selling you a service, we've sold you a device. That's right. What you do with that device is up to you. Absolutely, absolutely. Now let's talk a little bit about the setup, because this, this is also something that our audience knows about. There are ways of doing this currently. You could get yourself a, a home run box, get a couple of cable cards, and, and now you've got the access of, of a, a DVR and a, and a network translation for all that cable programming. You could get something like a Synology NAS with a little USB dongle and pull that programming off uh, right out of the air. But the issue has always been the antenna. If it's OTA, you need to get a good signal, and that's not always going to be in your network closet. So how do you create a network device that still can get my OTA signal? So those you can absolutely do this on your own, but what we've done is combined everything into one device. This is a device that hooks to your Wi-Fi. You're completely unencumbered by wires now, and you get the best placement. That's the real key. Uh, antenna's about placement, so if you need to get this high, so easy to do. All you need is power. All right, where will we be going for this? Because obviously people are gonna be interested. Anytime you can tell them, hey, you can cut off a $60 a month cable bill and get most of the same programming, plus all the local stuff, people get excited. But where do you wanna see Mohu next year? Is it, are you just gonna sell antennas, or are you gonna start looking at maybe increasing your product offering, maybe making there a, a more social aspect. What's, what's in store for Mohu? I think the future for us is free TV everywhere. We really believe it's the one thing that unites all Americans. They dislike the cable company. So we're going to continue to build products that make people really happy and get them free TV easily. And, and I, that's our future. In 2017, I think you're gonna see everybody getting on board. Thank you very much for speaking with us, John. Thank you for Great. sharing this tech. I am so excited to try this out. I really want to see how it works, especially in San Francisco, which has some great OTA yeah. programming. I think uh, Mohu might be for me. Awesome. Megan, Jason, there you have it. CS hasn't started, but I'm already calling this one of the best products. If you're looking for a way to get OTA programming without paying an arm and a leg, maybe you need to look at Mohu. It's, it's funny with all of the the cord cutting, you know, how it's evolved over the years. It's like people have retracted away and actually it's, it starts, it seems to be picking up steam because there's a lot of devices that are actually enabling it in a more comfortable way for people to, to cut the cord moving away. But then they realize, wait a minute, there's free content floating in the skies. I completely forgot about that. And so devices like this are going to make that super, um, super capable. And, and then yesterday um, we talked about the dish air TV, 
that kind of combines the Sling TV offering with the OTA antenna to kind of integrate that into the guide and into the the, the box and everything. So there's a lot of options now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it is interesting because we were just talking about using you know, the advertising model versus free, but TV's always done both, right? Yeah, I mean, that's I mean true. not always. It wasn't all, you know, it used <laughs> right. to be, it's always done the advertising model, but we've just gotten used to paying for commercial TV for so long because, you know, we don't, you know, the antenna wouldn't work. I wonder if that would work locally because i know just with attaching an antenna uh near petaluma it doesn't we can't get yeah it. i mean i've tried the indoor antennas around here and those are not strong enough i'm told if i actually go the rabbit ears or you know, the on top of the roof uh antenna approach i'll probably have better luck uh, i just don't want to do that but I, this is probably what needs to happen in order to make it work and i would totally use one of these uh types of devices in order to do that because i mean the content is out there mm-hmm. might as well grab it just grab it just grab it <laughs>